Hey everyone, welcome back. So, we're headed through Snowfield. We gotta go get Shana back from that really evil... You know what, I'm just gonna call up her Diaz and ass and leave it at that. Alright. So, oh, be right back. Alright. Cannot carry any more items. Alright, I guess I'll just stick there for a while. Oh. Hello, Lloyd. I have something to tell you before we go to the field, but... I think I changed your voice. It's about Diaz. I see. With this blizzard, it's not a bad time to take a break. How come I leave footprints, but he doesn't? Uh, make the world regenerate. I don't know what kind of voice to give you. Regeneration of the world. The world is now rotting like a fallen fruit. It has the same smell as the world ruled by Melbuf Karma. Yeah. The Wiggly Dictator. The world where inertia. Yeah, okay, that is inertia. Inertia is considered to be peace. An easy path leads to de de devolution. Oh my god, I can't read today. The overture to the destruction has already begun. Devolution. You are saying that the reason why our magic power is deteriorating. You are saying that is the reason why our magic power is deteriorating. It is not only for you, Elise. It is the danger all species are facing. Now, how can we regenerate the world? are merely the hunt of the seventh species. The great will, the career are so unprepared to last. The hundredth and eighth species. The last species is the last god, which will regenerate the world and lead us to Utopia. Why do I pick games that have so many different characters? Count oh. Count 108 years, and when the moon never sets, clear as day, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The moon child of this legend is the last species. It is the god that gives holy bliss to the world. That's not true. It is the truth. Then why does the black monster continue to kill the moon child? That devil wants to stop the evolution after imagining himself scorched to death by the blessed light brought by the last species. Lloyd, what is the rel relationship between the divine moon objects you have been pursuing and the birth of the moon child? The ancient wingers feared their status as the supreme species would end, and sealed up the hundred and eighth species. The keys to dissolving the signet are the gem, dagger, and mirror, named after the moon. You are going to release the moon child, in other words, the god, using the divine moon objects. If you don't do it, or if I don't do it, someone else will. I think I've mixed every single voice up here. Except for Darts, because Darts is just my voice. Even the last god cannot escape from the fate determined by Saul. That's all that I wanted to tell you. The rest will be told by Diaz. If you desire a utopia, why did you take Shauna away? What is Shauna to you? All the truth will be told in the Alright, Dirt. 
The blizzard is over. All right, let's go. Oh, all right, be right back. All right, oh, what does this say? Danger head snow slides. Yay! Probably not. I don't remember a whole lot of this. It's been quite some time since I played this part of the game. Oh. That was short. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna get stuff explained when we get in here. Probably not, but it's gonna leave us with more questions than answers. Here we are. Uh, this capital city railroad. The Seven Towers. Is Diaz waiting for us somewhere in there? That is the Tower of the Seven Dragons. The throne of the Holy Emperor is underneath them. We are standing at the legendary place where humans began their liberation. I wonder if it is an abominable place as well. You think too much. It's the same as Cadessa, isn't it? When you drag the past around, you can no walk anywhere. Wow, Maru's voice is hard on me today. It is true, Maru. The Forbidden Land that was the royal capital of the Wingleys. And this veil web is a mere historic ruin. Yes. We can do nothing but settle for the present. Alright. Let's see how lost I get and we'll try to get through here. Because something... I seem to recall... Oh, be right back. Alright. As I was trying to say, I seem to recall it's not a straight path. Although, so far... Ooh, I got that right. Can I carry... Okay. We'll just leave it there then. Oh look, how do I get to them? Oh, be right back. I think I get to them by coming this way. Yes. There we go. Hello. Brother, there are no customers here. Um, I'm not doubting your word, though. Don't worry. Believe me, there are always customers, even in this kind of place. Okay, I believe you, brother. You're right, brother. There are really customers. It's all due to the skills of my passionate merchant soul. You have to learn them. I sell weapons. I, I sell items. We are peddlers. Yes, I don't know who's talking, so I'm just gonna... It must be fate that we would be here. Why don't you take something to buy you? Oh, okay. Let me take you in advance. Actually, oh, nope, not you. Yep, okay. I want you. Yes. Let's see. Oh, yes. Let's take that. No. No. Uh, you know what? Sure. I can't decide, so let's just leave it. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. What do you have for items? Just so I know. Oh, you've got healing fogs. 
and healing breezes. Okay. All right, I'm gonna be back. Yep. Okay. Oh, let me out. Oh, be right back. All right. So. Oh, God! Look at that huge battery. Human shot huge arrows from there, aiming at the tower from Flambelle. And back then, he was thought this way. But the arrow would not only shear the darkness of Karazir, but also shear their corrupted hearts, which were accustomed to being moved. Why are you suddenly starting to say this? I don't know. I still cannot tell. But if we meet the guy who claims he is Diaz, I think we can find out the reason. I'm speaking nonsense again. Let's keep going. A hero from history is waiting for us. But we have a hero from history right here! Alright, we'll go meet the other guy. Maybe it is a street? Oh! Oh, hello, Shirley. I've been waiting for you. You are Shirley? Why? Why are you here? You ascended to heaven, I thought. Before that, I had something I had to take care of in here in Veil Lab. Take care of in here, in here, or in whatever. I couldn't leave the trapped souls alone in this world. Are you talking about? Yes, the four souls of the dragoons who lost their lives during the dragon campaign. Their souls were drawn to Mayfield, the gate of the inferno from which you can never return, is requesting the souls of the dragons. The Death City Mayfield? I thought it was destroyed. I don't know how. But it is true that the gates, gate of the Inferno is open. Rose, I made their souls inert and anchored them in this place. But there is a limit to my power. After you meet Diaz, please visit this place again and lead their souls to heaven. The souls of the dragon are one. Let's try that sentence again. The souls of the dragoons are wandering somewhere in the towers. But we have to take care of something else now. Let's go find Diaz. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Because he did say that where we needed to go was under. So... I think I'm going the right way. Oh, be right back. All right, let's keep going. Uh, hello? Uh, okay, nothing here. So, oh, what's in here? Stairs. Where do these stairs take us? To... Rose's hairband. Gee. I wonder who that's for. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh. Um. Uh, you know what? Take it. Although I probably should have put it on you. 
now that I think about it. But oh well. It literally had Rose's name in it, so Rose is going to get it. Oh, be right back. Alright. Slowly working our way down. Getting sidetracked by every single door. Ooh, this one not only has stairs, it has another door. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. Well, okay. Shauna! Yes. Here are all three divine moon objects. There are no more obstacles to hinder our utopia. Release the girl. Fine. Diaz, what are you going to do with divine moon objects? Didn't you hear it from Lloyd? My only desire is the advent of the last species. If you are the true Diaz, you should know what the, that implies. Total destruction. What do you... Lol. Well done, when you meet the moon gem, moon dagger, and moon mirror. Now we can let the Varage Emoyo, the god of destruction, the last species we desire, the two the true Varage, arise. I will create the utopia you wanted after the Varage Emoyo purifies the world. Everything so far was an overture to that. Lloyd, he showed you a false utopia from the beginning. You deceived me. My utopia existed in the future of this world. What I desire is the creation of the future, not the destruction of this world. I don't need you anymore. Yes, what are you thinking? I don't need to hide anymore. Oh yeah, we get a nice little cutscene, don't we? History there. Oh, it cannot be. I actually forgot this cutscene existed. For some reason, I was thinking you didn't find out this until the end of the game. Wow, my memory of this game is really. Is that really you, Dad? You died. With Melbufama on each other's swords. Rose, what are you talking about? Now I can tell you everything. The beginning of the world was an absolute nothingness. Darkness. The creator Soa sowed a seed to the earth. This is the plan of Soa, 
that created all species, the birth of the divine tree. Eventually, the fruit of the divine tree ripened and fell to the ground to fill the world with life. Gagentos from the 97th fruit. Minitos from the 99th fruit. Dragons from the 105th fruit. Humans from the 106th fruit. Wingwees with magic power from the 107th fruit. And at the end, the Virage Embryo, the god of destruction, was to be born from the 108th fruit. So a desire for destruction and regeneration of the world by the Virage Embryo the god of destruction. However, 11,000 years ago, Wingleys found out the tragedy waiting for them and sealed the 108th fruit by separating the flesh and soul. The flesh of the god, the flesh of the Virage embryo, was taken away from the Wingleys as the moon that never sets that glows in the sky. And the soul of the god was captured in the crystal sphere, and Melbu Frama kept it. Yes, to withdraw unlimited magic power from that, and to conquer the other creatures. However, even with unlimited magic power, the domination was not eternal. Humans arose with dragoo dragons. Nope, with dragoons in front. Yeah, I had it right the first time. Nothing was their match because they obtained the power of the dragon. And finally, they drew over Melbu Frama into a corner. I felt, a cer I felt certain of human, my victory. And it was in the next moment that the spell of petrification cast by Melbu captured me. I have waited for 11,000 years. Time, almost eternal, dissolved the spell of Melbu and I was released from captivity. Days spent with Rose became the eternal past, and I lived as the father of Dot in this age, until the tragic day of meat. So we've seen this a few times. Oh, for some reason I thought it was gonna show. I cannot believe it. I am here, that is a fact. Then, both Dad and Rose are the heroes of the Dragon Campaign? Oh. I'm really sorry guys, my nose is really itchy today so I'm trying to scratch it in between sentences but it, it's not working. Yes, but that's not all. Oh, this is... Is this where we find out? Humans made a mistake. Silly humans destroyed the crystal sphere, which was the container of the soul along with the royal capital, Cadessa. The Virage Embryo, the god of destruction, was exalted. It could now be born. The free soul released from the crystal sphere started to wander. In order to go back to the body left in the moon that never sets, to be born as the last god, and to destroy the world. The soul without a body possesses a human body and heads for the moon that never sets by repeating the trans transmigration every 108 years. Now no, the soul of the god of destruction is the moon child. The truth of the moon child in the legend. Count 108 years and when the moon that never sets glares red. The moon child descends to the earth and shall grant a, and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The holy blessing is the destruction. The destruction is so as well. This is the fate that rules the future of the world. But there was one dragoon who found out about it. Oh well, yeah, this is in order to deter the birth of the god of destruction. She has had to kill the moon child, moon children, by stopping her own time. She was even called a demon. That is the true self of Rose, 
the black monster. This is the black monster? Tell me it's not true! The moon child has to be too, and the people around it too, before they become the servants of the god of destruction. Me too? For 11,000 years, there have been no exceptions. God! Why you? Why do you have to be the black monster? That's it. What are you going to do? Let me tell you one more thing. Rose, you thought the Princess Luvia you killed 18 years ago was the moon child. But it is not true. Luvia had a twin sister. N no! Shauna is the moon child. Shauna is the soul of the Virage embryo, the god of destruction. I'll dissolve the segment of the moon that never sets and cross it with the moon child. Now I have everything in my hands. Release Shauna! And are you going to kill her to save the world? I'll kill her. Oh. That was a wrong voice, but this is the limitation of humans. Zeke, why? All oh, is the will of the creator, Soa. My hands start the world and my hands end the world. Yes, fate desires it. Dad, wait! Shauna! Alright. So, that is the end of disc 3. So, I'm going to stop here. I know it's a bit short, but on the next one, we will pick up at the start of disc 4. So, I will see all of you lovely people on the next one. Bye!